Hi Capricorn, this is Marishi Yamacha Angelica. Let's see, what is it that you need to hear from me for this coming week? The last week of September. Capricorn, what is it that you need to hear from me? Capricorn's out there. All right. Your first card is this one. The devil's energy as well as the nine of swords. There is something which is stressing you out. There is some kind of a toxicity in your uh, mindset. Okay? Hang on. There is nothing much happening. But yet, I see you pretty much clinging onto a situation which is not serving you. Which is unhealthy. Okay? Hangman is a limbo situation. Some of you might be losing your sleep over this, not knowing, uh, not knowing what needs to be done. You are attacked to some kind of energy where nothing much is in your hands. Okay? There is a stagnancy. There is a period of being in limbo. And you're stressed out. Okay? Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini, probably a Capricorn. What was the other card? All right, um, yeah, this is the Capricorn energy. Capricorns are there, what else? Your next card is the Six of Wands. Right. You want to succeed no matter what. This might have to do with somebody from the past, a situation which you're very familiar with, you want things to go your way. You're obsessing over the situation. But it has to go your way. Some of you might be hoping to get back together. Okay? You cannot stop thinking about this. It could be a situation. It could be a person. You, you are... Um, attached to this person if they are not near you physically if they are you know not around you you are still attached to them their energy is attached to yours okay this is something which you're very very familiar with a person whom you have dealt with Because there is memories with this person. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo or probably a Scorpion. Moving on. Capricorns are there. What else? Your next card is this one. You wanting second chances. Okay. You want some kind of a renewal. A transformation within the current situation. Okay. You want second chances. You want them in your world. Because you feel that is the right thing. You know, it is like justice. It should be like this. We are meant to be together. That kind of a vibe. Okay? So it has to happen. With the six of wands... It has to happen. We need to be back together. I need this person back in my life. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. And uh, it's taking time. It, it, it's like it's getting nowhere yet. You feel like it will take time for them to uh, be in the same picture as you. Nine of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the deck. And I showed you the hangman previously. It just fell out. So, yeah. You sprited. You in this limbo. That is why. You expecting this transition to happen from that uh, stagnancy to being together. But it is going to take time. That's how you think. Okay, It's not me saying. That's how you think. There is a chance for you to succeed. 
in getting what you want, but it will take time. Wow. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. What else, please? Capricorns are there. What else? See, Justice and the Ten of Wands. It's like, ah, uh, you're so much into this idea about this is, this is the right thing. It is just weighing you down. It's just getting a little too much. Yes, because there is so much conflict which is going on. on. You might not be on the same page as the other person. You might be, um, you know, they're fighting with you. Yet, for you to make things right, it is going to be your task. It's going to be a difficult task. It's going to be a challenge. It's not going to be easy. Because it's bad. Okay? It's, it's very bad between the two of you. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. Or probably a Sagittarius. Uh, what else? Capricorns are there. What else? Next card is the Harathant. If you look at these two cards, it's almost like the same picture. Even the lovers is almost the same. But there is two people here and there is two people up here. And this is like a Pope. But here we have the Devil. So it feels like you're manifesting a foundation between the two of you. Yeah, almost, you know, wanting to get married. You want them. You know, you want everything to be legal. I, I, I feel like there is, because the justice came out twice. The card justice came out twice. So it's almost like uh, there might be the judiciary system which is involved in your story. Things might be in the court. Okay. But yet, I feel like one person is still clinging on, wanting to still keep things intact. Wanting to have a second chance uh, in you know, having that foundation again. Building the foundation again. All right. Wanting to be in a marriage. Yeah, that's the way you think. The way you think is like the King of Swords. This is the right thing. This is, you know, you have thought it through. But the only problem is your first card is the Devil's card. So are you actually, you know, thinking straight? Is this just the obsession which is taking over your judgment? It makes me question. Question your intentions. Question your um, way of thinking. Are you really thinking straight? Is it even possible? Alright, moving on. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn or an Aquarius. I also feel like because I'm losing my voice, I feel like you don't stand a choice, uh, sorry, you don't stand a chance to speak with this person. Like, it's almost like uh, you suppressed. You cannot, um, they might have cut contact with you. You cannot reach out to them. That is why that Knight of Pentacles, it is taking time for you to have this second chance. You have been slowed down. That hangman, you are in limbo. You cannot do anything about the situation. All right, moving on. Capricorns are there. What else? Your next card is this one. Two of Cups along with the Nine of Swords. You want this, okay? This is what... Uh, see, you want this marriage, okay? You want to be blessed with this commitment okay being in a marriage being together 
you see the same people but they are shackled they are tied with the chains there is no going separate ways that, that is in your head like this is what i want you want to be in uh to be with them you just don't know how because we are looking at the four of swords two cards which is like you know you're stressed out because um this person has three swords hanging on top of his head and he's literally praying okay he has his hands folded he's praying for things to go his way okay for for him to be back with this other person and he's stressed out this person cannot even sleep he's losing his sleep just thinking about how how do i make this happen you want things to be resolved between the two of you you want things to heal up and get back together have a second chance being back together all right what else there is this energy about wanting to let go of the past and wanting to have another chance what else please capricorn and their words your next card is this one this is what you're dreaming this is this is literally your wishes your desires you know this makes you happy satisfied content with your life if you get back with them if things go your way you know if things become official between the two of you that is your dream you have looked at it from every possible angle and you feel like this is what i want and yeah, that is why uh, like i said you are not with this person anymore but yet you you, you are unable to cut yourself uh, from their energy they're still attached their energy is still attached to yours some of you might be dealing with a pisces or probably a virgo capricorns are there what else see you're stuck not knowing what needs to be done how do i release myself out of this current situation uh the stuck energy is up here and if you look at this two of pentacles you're juggling you're juggling even though things are pretty much shitty it's crappy it's messed up but yet your focus is keeping things in balance you're trying your best to not let these pentacles slip out of your hand because it is important for you getting back together is important for you how much ever um screwed up things are okay within the situation you are not willing to give up but you're stuck right now you just don't know how how to proceed how to release yourself from this situation you're blindfolded in this card Okay, you have these eight swords around you. You are tied up, but the only thing is it's loosely tied, so everything is up here. You can get out of the situation if you think about it. If you really think about it. Hmm? This is for someone out there. All right, Capricorns out there. What else? Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Oh my God. All right. This is how bad the situation is. Ten of Swords. Someone feels like it is, you know, it is over. Like it, it. There is no chance that this person can get up because there is ten swords on his back. Okay, it's literally dead. The dead situation. But with this Page of Pentacles, this person feels like there is still a hope to. There is still a potential, a small potential to get up from this. sorry get up from this that is why we have got the world card i spoke about rebirths even so look at the way it came out death okay where is it now little death and then we have the rebirth 
So you feel like there is a, uh, there is still a potential to have that second chance within your life. All right? Yeah. You're very emotionally invested into wanting this to happen. It's, it's basically over, but you're not giving up. All right, moving on. What is your last card, Capricorn? Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. What is your last card, Gemini? Oh, sorry. What is your last card, Capricorn? Something. Your last card is this one. You know, whatever I say, it's just, you know, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Because you believe you will have your dream. You believe that you will have this, you know, foundation with this other person. This will come, you know, your cup is going to get full, you know, it will just bring over with happiness once your dreams come true. Because you feel, you know, there is still a chance for you to get back together. There is still love there. But my own, yes, they will initiate. But the only thing is, this is almost like one way. If you look at the Six of Pentacles, one person is offering. So one person is, uh, you know, giving, and you, this person is not receiving anything in return. So that's how the situation is. You feel like you still have a chance, but it's like a one-way situation. Everything is all right. But the only problem is, the whole, whole mindset is stuck here. Okay? These two will conclude your reading. Wow. What the hell? These two will conclude your reading. You're obsessed with them. This is all what you want. Do they want the same thing? Once you have the answer for that, you will be freed. You will be able to release yourself because that eight of swords, you know, you were stuck up here. You will be released from that when you have the answer to your question. All right. It's very unfortunate. But, yeah, as word, high priestess, once you realize, you know, the conclusion that it is one way because high priestess is about your intuition, your you know, uh, higher self speaking to you. Once you get the answer to that question, you will know. That's it for now. This is Marishi Yamashi Amshaloka. Until next time, bye-bye.